Yeah, what's wrong with the beer we got? I mean, the beer we got drank pretty good, don't it? Greetings, fuck faces, for another episode of Your Beer Sucks, because your beer sucks. So what we're going to do is we're going to drink beer, and we're going to make you watch us drink beer. Why? Because we're really, really fucking arrogant. Yes. And then we're going to tell you if the beer's good or not. Why? Because you're too stupid to figure it out on your own. We're here to help you. Yes. So here we go. Let's get started with Sweetwater IPA. Diarrhea in a fucking bottle. Sweetwater IPA. This mammoth diarrhea shit in a bottle. I'm sorry, that's not what it says. My apologies, I'm not very good at reading. It says this mammoth. 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 India Pale Ale is loaded with intense hop character and subjected to an extensive dry hopping process. Our IPA is unfiltered, leaving all the natural flavors intact. The beer you've been training for. Oh, fuck well, you. Let what, me just is this like parkour or something? Tell you something, Sweetwater IPA. Parkour? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what have you been training for, assholes? Well, it sucks. <laughs> it's at least like it's kind of got that color where it's maybe a little bit malty it's just lulling yeah. you into a false sense of security probably it's like hey this looks sort of like you know a beer? heavy seas loose cannon hot cubed that's uh, fairly it's clear chunky. mine's chunky I got the bottom of the bottle at least we know it's bottle condition it's not bullshit yeah mine doesn't have any chunks in it kind of carbonated Smells smells half decent. Smells smells promising. Yeah, it smells like the south end of a northbound camel. I mean, it, ha, 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 ha. it I smells it's Johnny Carson. It smells citrusy. Yeah, something old. That's about it. I'm not getting much of anything of the malt on the nose. It tastes like shit. Does it? <laughs> yeah, like actual shit. Like actual like flies sitting on it. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't know Greasy about that. Greasy fecal matter. I don't know about like, that. Like, you know on a hot summer day when there's like a pile of dog shit and it's really hot? Mm-hmm. And you just walk up and you just grab some and you're like, I just, I gotta fucking know. <laughs> and you eat some? <laughs> I, I've, I, I have to admit that I've never had that experience. Oh, well, you should be more adventurous. That's what this beer tastes like. Yeah? Yeah. Andrew, have a sip. You know what? This actually is a fairly competent IPA, in my opinion. Yeah, it kind of is. It's earthy. It's the hops are decent. It's very thin. It's just like watery. That's thin. its. That's its sin. Well, it's is the, that it's thin. It's the beer you've been training for. <laughs> that's the beer you've been training for. That's a bunch of like, bullshit. I feel like it's a bit over the line. Six point three percent alcohol. Yeah. You know what? Yeah, this is this is competent. It's, it's piney, which I tend to prefer stuff that's not as piney for I the don't, most part. I don't mind the pineyness. This is, I'd say this is this is good. Yeah, I'll I'll say that this is good. You know, not the not the best IPA I've ever had, but no, it's not brilliant by any means. But I've got to I've got to give this. It doesn't suck. This yeah. will be the first. Sweet water I've ever given. It doesn't suck. Well, you know what I think? I think this fucking sucks. And you know what? This is the bird you've been training for. <laughs> Fuck you. Yeah, no, this isn't this isn't anything like exceptional or anything. But no, in this terms, is... I think the only other sweet water that I've given it doesn't sucks to was their Christmas beer back there in the Christmas special. <clears throat> yeah, this is this is this is a competent IPA. I think I, I even gave that a sucks. 
I don't remember. Somebody gave that because that I think that beer got a doesn't sucks rating. So that, two but, of us. Yeah, that, I think that I beer got there. three crackers out of two. <laughs> this is you're messing, um, up, you're messing up your fractions. This is don't tell okay. me how my rating system works. This is um, okay. mediocre plus one. <laughs> Mediocre plus one. Yeah, this yeah, is it's just a step over mediocre. It's just just enough to be a doesn't suck. I'll give it a I'll give it a I'll give it a one point five over. In case I wasn't clear before, this beer sucks. Yeah, no. Uh this is I mean I definitely think there's that there's IPAs better than this. Like all of them? Cute. <laughs> yeah, like like <laughs> they're about two hundred better than this. Like, like or the hop cube, the hop head. cubed is better than this. But like a, a million times better. You just love this understatement stuff. You I know just, what? I just, you know, yeah, the hop cubed. I've got to say is uh, is a little better than this, dude. You know what? Fuck, Miller, man. Well, all right, Miller they're not. Is they're not on the idea. same level. It's not as. It's not quite as good as the hop cube. No, it's nowhere near as good. It's like. Well, I mean, am I wrong though? It's not as good. No, <laughs> I'd rather drink the red stripe. I agree. Yeah, I yeah. would rather drink this over red stripe. And that's saying something, you smarmy motherfuckers. But I also gave the red stripes a doesn't suck and mm. red stripe, and I give this a doesn't suck. It's barely over the line. Well, that's because you, you know, you're a weak person. And I, I like IPAs, and this is not nearly as bad as. A lot of IPAs. What was that? It's pretty what good was that? if you dip a cracker in it. Is it? Like, I'm not even joking. I actually like that. I, I don't know if I'm going to fall for this bluff. No, yeah, I'm good. Yeah, that's right. It makes it a hoppy tasting cracker. It, it filters out the horse shit. Maybe the malt's the problem. Could be. Maybe. It might have too much rat feces in the malt. Maybe. Eh? That's all right. But anyways... Yeah. I think our overall verdict is 2-1. to one. It doesn't suck. Yeah, Sweetwater IPA. So congratulations, Sweetwater. I like I could, one of your beers. I could live with okay. that, but go fuck yourself anyway. Yeah, bye. Sweetwater IPA. Oh, no, wait. Thank God that's over. Shock top Belgian white. Oh, God. This spiced Belgian style wheat ale is a pinnacle of refreshment brewed with real orange lemon and lime peels for a smooth citrus finish. The beer that's always down to chill and be chilled. This is actually a screw top. Uh, Are you shitting me? That's not a good sign. We've had a few screw tops. He's just like, mm. <laughs> okay, no. She didn't start grumbling like that until she got old. It was hilarious. <laughs> She's All right, just a bumpering old fart. <laughs> <laughs> so it's She's a little bit foggy, that. like a Wigdale typically is. Kind of straw colored. Kind of smells head. like butthole. Yeah, it's got the dog fart. <laughs> yeah, it does. Mm. The dog is right there. <laughs> no, like, no, this is just exclusively in the glass. I kind of hope it the microphone... It smells so much like other stupid bullshit we've had. I hope the had. microphone picks up her grumblings. This is pretty good. He's like... Arr. Sometimes Patty calls her grumbles. <laughs> Are you grumbles? <laughs> <laughs> and she's oh. putting her chin on my leg. Oh, God. It's got that coconut thing again. It's super thin. It's, like, disgusting... It's real bad. It's just bad. Like, man, wow, how fucking gross can you get? Yeah, what that's is it, awful. What is it about these like wannabe wheat beers with that weird like coconut, coconut thing? Yeah, you know what? I've had this in a can, and I think it's actually better in a can. How sad is that? <laughs> this is not good. <laughs> this beer sucks. Oh, shark fuck. top. This is just what the regular standard old shock top. Belgian white or shock whatever. Shock top, yeah, shock top Belgian white. It's, Belgian style wheat ale brewed with citrus peels and coriander. Oh, I don't taste citrus peels or coriander, and I just take 
tastes like massive amounts of rotten asshole. <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> that won't fit. John, John, that won't fit. <laughs> That's what she said. Okay, no. No, no, no. Yeah. No, no. No. Uh -huh. No. All right. Beer number, the last one. Ooh, brown. Well, this is a good one. <laughs> I don't have Abbey beer, but it's deep, dark brown color, and it's full of sweet flavor. It can be ascribed to the use of dark rose malt, making every sip just an exceptional as last. Now, I stumbled across this beer fairly recently, and this has been, without spoiling it too much, this has been my main winter beer. Yeah? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Because... We did had you, the did left you lack imagination. We had the left blonde last season, <laughs> and that was good. That was a whole year ago. It wasn't a year, man. It's like three you. months. It's the magic of television. Even then, it was only three months. <laughs> man, fuck you. <laughs> dark in color, but it's translucent. You can kind of see through it. Yeah, it's dark but uh, clear. You could cut, and it's got very like, carbonated. It's carbonated, carbonated AF, carbonated AF indeed. But does that mean carbonated as fuck? Yes, we're trying to be like millennials. You are you a are millennial. millennial. Technically, you are as well. No, I'm not. Well, technically, Mike is. Yeah. Technically, when were you born? What 1981. So you, I am. You are barely not a millennial. I am barely Generation X. This smells Belgian as fuck. I was born in 1982. Does that blow your mind, whippersnapper? A little bit. Because you know when I was born? Uh, like 99 or something? Yeah, was it like... <laughs> was it that like... <laughs> were you like born last like, week? <laughs> yesterday? Weren't you born in like 2011? <laughs> no, 91. 91. Oh, but, it's the same difference. 2011, 91. This beer, though. Didn't any good music come out in 91? Wasn't that an off year? Uh, Nevermind no. came out, but like, Nevermind's over. I thought Nevermind came out in 92. No, nope, 91. Was it 91? April 91, I think. Mm. Mm. This beer is fucking good. This smells good. It smells super Belgian, but there's like, got some roasted like chocolate chip cookie shit going. Some banana. Mint chocolate chip. Yeah, I could sort of see that. It's got that like, sort of cold thing that mint does. Yep. This On your nose. This beer is fucking good. Wow, there's a, just a lot going on on the nose, which is like a welcome surprise after a big string of bullshit, bullshit beers. Buttness. Yeah. This is like... I think we should do an episode at an AA meeting. <laughs> <laughs> You're a terrible person. <laughs> yeah. At least he acknowledges it. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm working on it, you know? But you're one of you're like it's a, a perfect, long road, and you're then your AA is like assholes anonymous. <laughs> <laughs> you're perf you're a perfect example of somebody who's like completely amoral, but manages to have like a defined ethical code. Mm. Yeah, I never thought about it that much, really. But am I wrong? That's are, about. Are we gonna do the thing? That's though? about spot AA meeting. No, uh, no, no, that's evil. Let's not do that. No, I feel like that's... Really? Yeah. yeah. Let's probably not do that. But, huh. Left Brown, I'm going to go ahead and uh, give my verdict. It doesn't suck. It's uh, an amazing beer. Mm, tasting it now. Uh, Mouth feels a little bit thin. I have a feeling Mike likes it because his is already almost gone. Yeah. It's really good. Um, I would get both of them. I don't know about that. It's very caramelly. Very caramelly, like like that's the thing like, that like really really like steps caramel out. corn caramelly. But that's the thing that really stood out to me, like when I first had this beer. It's very very it's caramelly, sweet. but not but it's not overbearingly sweet. It's close though. It's pretty damn sweet. Uh, okay. It's it's very good. It's not asylum sweet. 
Fuck no. Man, this I, Oh, man, that shit's retarded. <laughs> Mike likes this beer. This is some terrible beer. <laughs> Dude, and like I like I found this at the store that I work at, and I'm like, yeah. because I hadn't even seen this before, because I because I know like other other varieties, <laughs> other varieties of this beer existed, but I hadn't had the brown before. Mike, hmm? here you go, buddy. I like it, but I'm just getting too beered up. If you if you want to send some this way, thank all right, you. I'll save myself a sip, because I'm, I'm as much as even the backwoods. Bastard. Yeah. Back with I Kobe. couldn't I couldn't finish that because this is, I'm just like trying to hold it together through all these fucking beers. <laughs> this I know. Is, this is six point five percent alcohol. It's not super heavy. It's still, man, it's like the but sequence. It's got, but it's got it's got those Belgian characteristics, but a little oh, bit yeah. more malty, a little oh, bit yeah. more sweetness. Yeah, it's definitely good. This is as I said, this was like my winter beer. And mm-hmm. It's really fun. It definitely yeah. is. It's very wintry tasting. It's if very I, Christmassy. If I drank honestly. a couple of bottles of this, I would want to go crawl into a cave and not come out until spring. Mm. Yeah, and, that, and that's basically what I, I mean. That I, in the best possible way. I drank this beer and just kind of like, eh, I'm just going to play video games and like watch what? TV that I. I'm going like to play video games because the real world sucks ass balls. What video games? Uh, I played a lot of Stardew Valley. Oh yeah, is that any good? I've never heard of that. Isn't Stardew that one of those, Valley like, indie platformer things. Stardew Valley is based. Do well, you guys know Harvest Moon? Yeah, no. It's Harvest Moon on steroids. Oh, I see. So just a lot of just like, just uh, like drinking beer, not caring about anything, farming crops. I like, see. Doing shit like that, and then I did play. There was there was somebody who basically remade Half Life, the original Half Life, with with like the Source engine. Oh, that's few... called like Project. I don't remember what the fuck that's called. Yeah, yeah, yeah but yeah. that that was actually fairly enjoyable. But the thing was, there was like a couple of twists because I've played through Half Life. Well, like let me I'm... tell you something, son. Back in my day, there was no Source Engine to remake Half Life in. There was no, just I played. Half-Life. No, I played. <laughs> no, I played Half Life before the and Source Engine came out. If you were lucky, you played it in eight hundred by six hundred on a Voodoo Two. And if you were goddamn loaded with cash, you had SLI Voodoo Twos and played it at ten twenty four by seven sixty eight. Hey, I had lucky. I had like a millennial coworker not that long ago say to me, "Yeah, have you ever actually played that original Doom, <laughs> like the old one?" Yeah, and uh, I just went, "Yeah, I was a teenager oh. when that came out. That uh, that was like current for me." And he was uh, like. Way. What? <laughs> no way! I'm like, yeah, man. I just, I, what the fuck? To, to me, that's Doom. Like the new shit. That's, that's not Doom. Doom. Everything else is shit made it's, after it's Doom. It's just stupid bullshit that they put the yeah. Doom name on. I don't even like the new Doom. I think it's garbage. I like the original. You know what? I will say that. And Doom Two and Final Doom. The new Doom. Well, I do agree with you that it's garbage. That it's a corridor shooter and it's boring. It is a boring. step in the right direction compared to how awful most shooters are now, though. Yeah, because yeah. most shooters are Call of Duty shit. Oh, yep. they're so bad. But, but, you know... So biased. The, the big thing about they're the new so Doom... so biased. Oh, they're so biased. Everybody's like, New Doom, man, it's so fast! It's so fast! No, man. it's not! No, it's not! It's fucking molasses slow. You want fast? There's like play the original like, Doom. Like enemies 93 are like Doom. Being, enemies are being like drip fed. Yeah, drip fed. It's like but, a checkpoint shooter. And then like it closes the room and they spawn behind you. Yeah, it's yep. a fucking checkpoint shooter. And it's it's like you come awful. into a room and then you kill X number of enemies as they spawn in. It's like a fucking checkpoint shooter. That's what it is. Yeah. yeah. It's fucking awful. And now we're doing fucking video game review. Yeah. That's but a it fucking, needed to be that, done. That's a tied up fucking market. I know. We're just off controversial fucking market too. Those motherfuckers, I think, get death threats and shit like way more often than even political commentators. Oh, really? Do. We haven't gotten any yeah. death threats yet. We gotta Nobody work on knows that. we fucking exist. Well, I mean, you're right. <laughs> what is our is, is the one guy that watches this regular gonna send a death threat? Actually, could you do that? It might. <laughs> it'll be it, like an ego boost. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. make it feel alive, you know. <laughs> it'll um, make us feel like we're actually worth something, right? So, anyways, left, left brown, brown doesn't suck. Does not suck. Sucks not. All right, so that's it for our episode.